We're here today with Matt Fay, CEO and Managing Director of Vonex. Matt, thanks for your time. Thank you. Are you able to share a little bit about Vonex? Yeah, so Vonex is a technology business um, specifically focused in the telecommunications area. Um, and what we do is we develop software from the ground up that solve a lot of the um, uh, challenges in the telco market, specifically for business customers. What differentiates Vonex from other telcos in the market? I, I think the key is because we are a development company with the skill set to provide the software ourselves, um, we, we own and operate the technology and we've been able to develop something that has unique feature sets and we're close to the, the, the delivery, uh, the ownership of the, the software. So rather than outsourcing to big global companies who do this, we can actually develop a, a much more um, bespoke solution for our clients. And does that give you speed to market opportunities? It certainly does. Uh, one of the key things that we've done in the recent years is developed a, a software called uh, Automated Management and Provisioning Tool. It's AMPT. Um, and that has cut down the provisioning and deployment time of a business phone system to, to minutes from weeks. The rollout of the NBN in Australia creates a unique opportunity. It's significant um, and it, it's really ahead of us rather than behind us, although there's been a lot of talk about the NBN. Uh, the real activity that's meaningful for Vonex is in, in front of us. Um, that uh, construction of the network that's now happening in the capital cities is, is, is on the doorstep of our key target market customers, which are our business customers. And we have an en enormous channel partner network spread around Australia that can actually personally onboard those customers. And in terms of recent developments? Recently, um, we had a big win in our wholesale business where we won a client uh, called Innerbox, which is an ASX listed company. They looked around at various options, including those global competitors I talked about before, uh, and, and we won on, on a number of, uh, of uh, levels for, for them. So that was a, a key bit of um, recognition for, for, for what we've uh, built. And you have an offer document open for an IPO onto the ASX. How important is that to your growth plans? It's, uh, it's extremely important. Um, we require the capital from the IPO to inject now. Um, everything is uh, about timing in our business and the next 36 months is the key window of time where we have an opportunity to land grab a meaningful number of customers from the MBM migration. So the capital now is essential to really get that rolling. And for investors, what should they focus on from the company looking forward? Uh, they should focus on the um, operator development, which is a product which is essentially comes from the, uh, the heart and soul of the business in, in terms of a uh, unique development. We have a patented mobile application there that we're going to build and launch off the list. Again, part of the capital raise is going to take that to its first launch stage. So you're a real business with real revenue and real customers? Uh, absolutely, yeah. R rather than just being an idea with a, a technology, we have uh, 22,000 plus active users on the platform now. We generate $8 million in annual revenue. And this financial year, we're on target to achieve a net position from our wholesale and retail business activities of 1.3 million. Matt, exciting times ahead. Thanks for your time. Indeed, thank you.